Your father was a wizard with his hands. He had golden hands. He could create anything. And so he gets a job in a German factory in the Warsaw Ghetto, becomes a manager, but then the raids begin, and he and your mother are at the factory, and to protect you, he fashioned a false bottom in a chest, and you and Lila, your sister, would stay in that. Well, it was, a, like my mother called it, the vegetable bin, it, a chest that uh, would hold things on top. You lifted the top, and you would store things in it. And so my father uh, put old, old rags and old newspapers and on the top. So if you lifted it, it looked, didn't look very nice. You wouldn't want to go through it. But underneath, he had a built two little chair, two little uh, benches, or two little seats, and a party. And when they went to work, they would put, and they left with us whatever they had, some water and whatever bread they had. And they would put us into this piece of furniture and put it against the wall and go to work. If you ask me today, how did we do this? It's very hard for me to explain because having grandchildren, it's not that easy to keep children quiet. But it was a different time and place. Children in Europe were supposed to be seen and not heard. And uh, as my mother later on in life tried to explain, she told everyone that she had two very obedient daughters. And I think it was, we knew, we grew up very fast and realized this was a matter of life and death. 